YouTube, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to the Owlery. Today I'm going to be doing my biannual Bibbly Aloud TBR. Super excited for this TBR. I need to catch up on my reading goal for Goodreads. I'm actually only one book behind, which I'm going to finish a book today. So, no big deal, but I really want to get ahead. I'd actually kind of like to get back to my original reading goal of 175 because I moved it down to 150. But, goals. Hopefully we'll get there, I don't know, but let's just go ahead and get started on the reading challenges. So the first challenge is to read the group book, which is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Now, I have requested this book from the library because I'm not going to buy a contemporary. I'm not a big fan of contemporary and I just don't want to spend my money on it. So if I get it from the library between now and the Bibliothon, it will be read. Even if I get it like during the Bibliothon, I'll probably just put down whatever I'm reading and read it because I really want to participate in the live show. But if I don't get it, then I won't be able to complete this challenge, obviously. No big deal. I'm not worried about it. If I get it, I read it. If I don't, I don't. The second challenge is to pick a book. Any book, it's like a free choice. So I went with Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. I need to read the sequel to this for NetGalley for review this month. So I gotta read the first one in order to read the second one. So it's it's pretty big. I actually have this on my TBR for the Readerama and it just didn't happen. But I think this will be like number one on my list. I'll probably read this first for the Readathon or the Bibliothon. But anyway, I'm excited about this. It's a young little fantasy. Um, I'm not really sure. I thought there was something on the back of my book, like a big like nasty spot, but it was just like fire, I guess. That scared me for a second. Um, oh, I think this is um, an Alexander the Great retelling, but it's got like magic and stuff like that. If I remember correctly, I love, love the cover. My husband actually bought me this book for my birthday last year, and my birthday is coming up in about a week, week and a half. So it's been on my shelf for over almost a year now. It needs to get read. The next challenge is to pick a book from a list of um, books that the host has recommended. So each host for this round has recommended one book, and we pick one of those books. So I decided to go with The Archive by Victoria Schwab. I don't remember which host. Uh, people outside are being, like, so loud. My neighbors are rude. Um, I don't remember which host recommended this. I'll put their name, like, here and stuff. And then um, while I'm thinking about that, I'll also put the links for the Bionic Bibliothon and everything down below as well if you're interested. But, yes, I don't remember the host, but I'll put them here. Um, and this was one of only two books that I was really, really interested in reading. And I've been wanting to read Victoria Schwab for a while now. So I went with that one. The next challenge is to read a book with your favorite mythical character or creature and I really really loved this challenge because it made me really think because the first thing that comes to my mind is a griffin but I don't know any book that has a griffin in it and so I decided to go with dragon which would be like my second favorite and I was like every book on my shelf I've read that has a dragon I've already read so I looked up on Goodreads if there were any dragon books that I was interested in reading and I found that Eon actually has dragons in it and this is by Allison Goodman. I didn't know this had dragons in it. It's been on my shelf for a while. Needs to get read. It's actually gigantic. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to read this for the Bibliothon but I will try to get to it and now that it has dragons in it, I'm actually really, really interested in reading this more than what I was, so hopefully I can get to it. The next challenge is to pick up a book that you have been putting off, and so I decided to go with City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, which is the second book in the Mortal Instruments series. I read City of Bones for the Readerama, and I actually got through it pretty quickly, um, so it was a pretty fast read, and I'm hoping that City of Ashes is the same way. It's just really quick to get through, and I've been putting off this series for a very very long time and now I just need to actually get it read so hopefully I can get to that one as well because I, I don't have it I have to get it from the library and it's not on hold or anything like that so it should be pretty easy to get this but from my understanding it's a pretty big book no pressure the next challenge is to read a book from an author that you have never read a book from them before so I went with Red Rising by Pierce Brown I mean, I've never read from Pierce Brown before, so that counts, but also it's short. All of the other, I mean, short-ish, I guess adult novels always look kind of short, but yeah, the type is small and the um, edges are, like, narrow, so I guess we'll see. But I've actually, yeah, I've actually been looking forward to reading this book for a while, and I just bought it this month, so why not pick it up? And I've never read from this author before, and why am I repeating myself like 500 times, Elizabeth? Stop. 
And the last challenge is to read a book in a different format than you usually read a book. Now, I have had a really, really hard time with this challenge because I am always reading a physical book, an ebook, and an audiobook. Always at the same time. I always carry around a physical book with me, and if for some reason I forget my physical book, I always have an ebook and an audiobook on my phone. I subscribe to Audible, and I get quite a few ebooks from NetGalley. So, um,. I feel like I read in all different formats all the time, and so I was thinking, well, maybe I can read a graphic novel, but then again, I read lots of graphic novels, too. Like, I think 35% of my read books this year are comics and or graphic novels, so that really wasn't an option for me either, but I was looking through my ebooks, and I realized that I had bought Zenith this year, which is by um, Lindsay Cummings and, of course, a book utopia. I'm, oh my god, the brain farts today, the brain farts. I can't remember her name, um, but it's by both of those authors, but it is a short story ebook. And I was like, I've only ever read one short story in ebook form, so I'm going to count that. And also, it's short, so I will get through it really quickly for this challenge, and I will be able to read more f during the week and, you know, accomplish more challenges and things like that. So... I feel like I think it's only like 120 pages or something like that. So definitely can get through this pretty quickly, and I think it definitely applies to this particular challenge. All right, guys. So that is my TBR for the biannual bibliothon. I am super excited. I hardly ever participate in the video challenges, but I love seeing everyone's videos. I'm just not creative or funny, or I can't dance or act or any of that. So I just, but I really like seeing everyone else's videos that they come up with and how creative all of booktube is and I just love seeing everything so I'm super super excited about the bibliothon you guys let me know if you're participating down below and don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias subscribe if you haven't already because it would just make my day and then you become part of my super secret club if you want more information on that look down in the description um and anyway I think that's everything I got for you guys so I'll talk to you later bye